Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I think you're gonna to wanna to grab the hubs for this one. As someone who's been married for close to 10 years, sometimes marriage is a doozy. But guess what? In this video, we're gonna talk about five practical tips that we all can apply to our marriages and relationships that will either one, keep the romance going, or two, re-spark that flame. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one, make an effort to look good, even at home. I know that we're all busy, we're tired, we, we have jobs, we have babies, we have dogs, we have this and we have that. And sometimes when we're home, we look crazy at the house. I mean, even for me. Sometimes I go to the restroom and I get there, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm looking, I'm looking crazy right now. And I, and I kind of go fix myself up. And I say that for a specific reason. If our significant other sees us at home, bummy, and then we get a call from our homegirls, or in, in, in the guy's case, they get a call from their homeboys, and all of a sudden, everybody's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. We're all beautiful, and our hair is done, our lips, our makeup. We're shaving, ladies. Guilty, guilty. We're shaving. We're putting on our freakum dress. Fellas, your beards are not beaded anymore and, like, rolled up. You're, like, putting oil on your beard. Like, to me, that doesn't send a good signal to your spouse that you care about, that you value their opinion of you. Why not look good at home as well? Not necessarily putting on a full face of makeup or wearing, you know, lingerie around the house the whole time. But I mean, you know, changing out the ketchup stain shirts and just doing little things so that your person at home, your spouse, your significant other knows that she values my opinion. And she's not just going in the street to get compliments or he's not going in the streets to get compliments from other people but that he values the way I look at him and she values the way I look at her you know in a, in a man's case so that's tip number one tip number two be appreciative I mean nothing is more annoying than a kid with no manners than an adult with no manners and especially a significant other with no manners if you want me to get you a drink please say please ask me nicely and when I give it to you, say thank you. There is nothing wrong with that. It's just showing the other person that although you've been together for X amount of years or even X amount of months, you still appreciate them. As a woman, when my husband's really appreciative of the little things that I do for him, um, that makes me wanna do more. That encourages me to do more and vice versa. Like he may say, oh, okay, all right, lovely. You still want that massage? But if I'm all rude, like, Where's my drink? I'm thirsty. And he gives me a drink and I snatch a drink and I drink the drink and the drink falls on my clothes. Going back to tip number one, looking good. And I got a milk mustache and whatever. And I'm just, you know, just kind of not giving that common respect. It's important. If you want to keep the romance going, you don't, you never want to come off like you, that person owes you. Right? Tip number three. And I'll tell you, I'm guilty. Ladies, we, we got to stop using sleep as an excuse not to be intimate. Yes, we are all tired. We work, we go to school, etc., etc. But sometimes we fake it and we pretend we're sleeping. But guess what? I need to let you guys and the guys know already. So I'm going to let you ladies in on a little secret. Come close. They know we know they know we know that they know. You got, you feel me? They know! Ladies, they're not dumb. They know that we are not really sleepy. They know that we are not in REM sleep because our eyeballs are not moving back and forth quickly. They know we're faking it. Intimacy is necessary. That's what makes the difference between being a friend with somebody and that person being your spouse. What is that difference? Intimacy. Tip number four. Go out on dates. I know it's difficult to go out on dates all the time, but go for a walk, go to dinner, go to the beach, make a date, set up an area in your house, your back porch, your balcony with a candle and, and just some fruits, some chocolate. It, that is enough. That shows that, and this is for men and women, that shows that we're thinking of that person. We're, we're trying to make quality time for that person for the person that means the most, that should mean the most to us. Tip number five, which is the biggest tip of all, is to talk. Communicate with each other. 
work out the tough issues that you feel like may be uncomfortable. Because guess what? In the long run, a lot of relationships fail because a person was afraid to talk about their concerns. A lot of us are stressed out about work or working jobs we're not happy about, um, but sometimes we're not sharing that with our spouse. When instead we can be working together as a team. Give your husband, give your wife your Indeed password. Say, babe, on your free time, do me a favor. Can you help me out? Because you know, I'm a little uncomfortable with the job. You know, I'd like a change. If you see something that looks like me, add it to the cart and later on, you know, maybe I'll apply for it. It's like, it's, it's working together. Here's a bonus tip. Put your phone away. I'm not saying put your phone away for the entire night, but if you're going to spend some quality time with your spouse and they're talking to you about serious issues and you're like, oh man, where? Who said that I work? Oh, but all you're doing is scrolling. You're not giving that person your undivided attention. And guess what? Sometimes we seek attention of others because we're not getting the attention that we should be getting at home. And a lot of it is due to our phones. So those are my five practical tips for bringing back intimacy and romance into a relationship. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, drop a comment down below, hit me in the DM. Please like this video, share this video. God bless you all.